Okay, this is it. Lesson 101 to become a successful orphan. If you want to be a successful orphan, you need to be content. Because you see, it is all you have. It is all you could ever have. And it is all you could ever need as an orphan. You need to stop comparing yourself to others because they have it and you don't. You need to stop looking less of yourself you need to stop thinking that your life is way bad than exactly how it is you have to be content for example this bottle of water if this is all you get for the day you need to use it for the day do you understand what i mean you don't misuse this because you know that no matter what you do this is the only bottle you're gonna have for the day and if there's gonna be a miracle then the miracle will come when you are usefully and rightfully or wisely using this bottle of water. If there's a miracle, you would save it for tomorrow, meaning that you have a spare bottle for another day, on a rainy day, on a shiny day. And if you have to be content, you need to also know that you can only be content because you don't have. You can only be content because it's a path to wisdom. In future, if you have an abundance, you'd still practice contentment because it is a great gain. It will teach you not to compare. It will teach you not to be jealous or envy. It will teach you not to look at other people. It will teach you to keep your energy within yourself. It will teach you, contentment will teach you to appreciate and have gratitude. If you know that maybe um, for often it could be one single parent or both parents or parents negligence or you know not your your needs not being met or however it may be or you being a strict child or boy or girl you need to know that it is only true contentment will you find pathways to achieving more and I say this with a very heavy heart I say this with uh, with, with an experience because I know what contentment has done for me. People come and share basically what they have also been through. But they'll continue to tell you that work hard. You can work hard of all that it is to be a hardworking woman, but if you're not content with what you have and you keep looking for more, Oliver Twist, wanting for more, not appreciating, not sitting down to have gratitude for yourself and all that you have been through. You need to look at yourself in that merciful and graceful eye that where I am is because God wants me to be there. I am here because it is a dream come true for me to be here. And as I find myself here, I'm going to be content but do more. And as a woman, if you're not content, you'll suffer the most. Your honey pot, if you understand, your woman, what God has given you will suffer the most because you would always give it out in exchange of your needs or your wants. But if you're content with your needs, I'm telling you that you won't have to suffer it. You won't have to go through the most self-devaluing and self-disrespecting behaviors and activities to get things in life. Why? Because you deserve more. And you, you, you only deserve more if you are content. If you tell yourself that, yes, I don't have this amount of money, but guess what? I am not going to sleep with men for something. I am not going to lie or steal or scam or fraud people to get anything. I'm going to be truthful. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be a smart working woman. And I'm going to be diligent with whatever God has given me. Simple as that. Take it from me. Lesson 101. To become a successful orphan, you need to be content with where you are, what you have, what you are doing, and the journey you find yourself in.